Nerdy out in downtown Los Angeles with one of the known Glees, and he's also an artist of music and sound. I'm here with J.C. Jones. How are you, J.C. Jones? I'm amazing. How are you doing? Today? I'm well. Thank you for uh, accepting our invitation yeah. to do an interview with the youth of Star Chat Magazine. Well, thank you for having me. I'm really, really excited about about this. Mm -hmm. The youth is really, really important to me. Wonderful, wonderful. So we were discussing off camera just a little bit about, you know, your connection to uh, the late Corey Monty that just recently passed and how that's affecting the group um, members. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about your experience with Corey Monty? Um, well, Corey and I never shot together. We mm -hmm. were actually on two different sets, okay. but um, everyone that I know that knows him, mm -hmm. like, speaks very, very highly of him. Okay. Like it was just an honor to be a part of something that we were we were both a part of, okay. even if we, it was remotely, you know. So, mm -hmm. um, and it runs deep, you know. It's like a family. So, I'm really, you know, um, it's a tragic thing that happened. So. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Now you have some new music coming yes. out. Talk a little bit about that. Actually, um, I have a new single coming out. It's called Work It, yeah, um, and nice. it is. Um, um, featuring Asmari Livingston from America's Next Top Model, British Invasion. Um, it was really, really fun recording the record. Um, it went really, really, um, it really went fast. Actually, the record was supposed to be meant for a rap artist. Nice. And, um, rap artist. Um, I don't know, just a rap artist. Okay. It was a rap beat. And oh, nice. um, when my brother played me the, the beat, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, what if I sing to that? And Give it a new, new twist. Exactly. Right. Right. And um, that's how we got working. Okay. And I think that it's an amazing song. And yeah. People are really love that song. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, what was your character on Glee for those that don't have never watched Glee and you know Oh, I was one of the warblers. Okay. And um, now I star as Trey mm. um, in Logo TV's DTLA. Mm. Like that is an amazing show. Like it's crossed so many Barriers, and mm -hmm. I wanted to do something like that because I wanted to um, be a change and not be the change, right. and not just talk about a change okay. um, of tolerance of other people okay. and acceptance yeah. and just um, being who you are. Right. So I think that that was one of the main themes of, of DTLA. Nice. And uh, where is DTLA? What channel can you find that? What um, days? That's actually on um, Logo TV. Um, okay. Now it's on Netflix. Actually, nice. Uh -huh. So they made it into Netflix. They made it into Netflix. I just found that out. Wonderful. So, all the many people that are on Netflix, go get DTLA by J.C. Jones. All right. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about your fashion statement because you are your fashion statement is on point. Oh, thank you. So, you're originally from Los Angeles or no? No, I'm originally from Shreveport, Louisiana. Sweet. All yeah, right. All right. so I'm a southern boy. I've actually been in Los Angeles only four years. Okay, how do you like it so far? I'm very interesting. I love it. Like, the weather is amazing. The people, mm -hmm. you just never know in the business that I'm in. Exactly. I'm, and I love it, but I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. So what you got planned for the holidays? I mean, Thanksgiving, what did you do Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving, I actually um, was with um, my friend Caitlin Howard, who's the daughter of the R&B legend uh, Mickey Howard. Oh, nice. So um, we, she cooked and we listened to her some of her new um, songs that she's been working on, so I'm really excited about that. Her new project was a really fun time. Nice, nice. And you're going back to uh, Louisiana for Christmas? Actually, no, I'll be in Vegas for Christmas. I have a show in Vegas. <laughs> nice. Yes. A show in Vegas. Show in Vegas Catch and in New Year's. And who can, can, in Vegas. can Star Chat support you and come out Almost that? definitely. I would love that. I think Wonderful. that would be amazing. And yeah. when is it? Um, it's, I think, believe it's on Christmas Day. Oh, it's on Christmas Day. Yeah, Christmas Day. Mm, okay. With the one that you're doing in Vegas? In Vegas, yeah. Okay, and which one are you doing New Year's Eve? In New Year's Eve, um, it's kind of... It's kind of secret, so got you, got it's going to be announced really, really we'll, soon. We'll talk about that right. on camera. Right. Now, <laughs> you, are you single? I am. I am. Ladies, Jason <laughs> Jones is single now. Come on. You, I you know, am. You know for a fact that the women love anybody that can sing melodies and, and be an actor and be an entertainer, so you can watch out. <laughs> 
I'm a really, really shy person. I can tell. I'm really shy. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. I'm on stage. I'm totally different. Exactly. But I'm we, really... we both have two yeah. different first songs. You know, right. It works to our benefit. Exactly. You know. So now I saw some YouTube videos uh -huh. of you at different. Uh, I think you were in the international overseas. Uh huh. Um, and then I believe you were in San Francisco. Or like yes. Uh -huh. Talk a little bit about those uh, performances and how the crowd reacted to you and what's the uh, response on your uh, social network. Right. I um I went um I was on tour um this past summer like an amazing amazing tour. I had right. four amazing dancers with me. Mm -hmm. Um even we had um, a DJ um uh, you know why I just drew a plane. So, um, I do that sometimes. <laughs> I forgot her name, but a beautiful DJ that come to one of our shows. Uh, um, forgot her name. I'm so sorry about that. But um, 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 and it was just an amazing experience. And as a new artist going out and kind of like having um, people preview my music for the first time, you're like you're nervous because like music is like my child. Like you know, like that's like my baby. You know, I'm very very sensitive about my music. So. Um, to go places like where people have never heard of me before. Like right. I went to Kalamazoo, Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, I was in Miami, um, Vegas, Atlanta, um, like um, Canada. Like it was amazing. Like to see these people, like how they responded to my music, it was like amazing. I think I need to go see something where we're traveling with Jason Jones because I think you're an extraordinary person. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you're that. Down to earth, even though you know. You but we can get along, we can be best friends. <laughs> That's funny, yeah, we can be best friends. <laughs> so, now, you want to, I'm sure, perform at the legendary Staples Center, the Nokia Theater, or the Nokia Club. Almost definitely, let's go Staples Center. Okay, let's go Staples Center. <laughs> let's <have some> confidence. <laughs> well, yeah, let's do Staples Center, yeah. <laughs> but after the holidays, are you like swamp, you know, swamped with the uh, tour dates and, and other music appearances? Yeah. Where can people find you? That's funny. Um, we are actually talking about a tour right now. Okay. Um, next year, next starting next spring. Like April. Um, yeah, uh, around April, April, the end of April actually. Yeah, yeah. starting um, starting there, and um, we're actually doing a reality show. Okay. Doing a reality show. Right. Which can, is, can you share a little bit about the um, role? Well, the, um, it's it's just gonna be about my life and like because I think um, kind of sort of like okay. you get to see like what what it takes for someone to like really be like um, a true artist right. you know like really be a true artist right. like um, and I want to use this as um, as a cl platform to let let anyone know that like you can make it you just right. have to believe in yourself you have to believe that you can do it right. and that's why I do what I do yeah. I want to inspire people yeah that's what I do. I do I inspire people through celebrity role models like yourself and I'm, you know, Star Trek Magazine is all about positive empowerment and you know, uplifting. And we go beyond, the, we, we, we go beyond our mission statement to provide um, a voice to the voice of you. Right. Nationwide. And so, here's a good question I can pose to you right now. What would you like to say to you for a while about the importance of education and writing from, you know, riches to rags to, you know, or rags to riches? a story like that or give some scenarios to the youth where everything will be okay if they reach from the start. Right. Um, I think in this journey that I've been on, like the, the one thing that um, I keep finding myself re uh, returning to is to um, uh, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to believe in yourself. Like you have to, no matter like what your circumstances, no matter what, you have to believe that you can do whatever you put your mind to. And if you believe that, you can really achieve it. Like the the saying is true. Like it's simple. Something so simple can be so hard for some people, and it was hard for me. Um, but when you start believing in yourself and believing that you can have everything that you want, your life will literally start to change. And that's what I want every person to know. Mm -hmm. Now, a big topic that uh, I've been doing for this uh, 13th year in the and again, thank you for mm -hmm. coming on the platform our 13th year. Oh, thank you. Um, what would you like to say to young people today about, you know, the power of forgiveness in general and what that may have to do, I guess, in terms of the effect it may have in their long-term 
relationships with people. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and this is something that it's so funny that this is something that I've actually been like working on myself. Like, All right. So what's up? forgiveness is like it's it's a very powerful thing, and it's it's more so for you than anyone else. And that's like I think the biggest lesson that I've learned in that mm -hmm. um, because you can really take a bring a lot of things with you that you don't even realize that you right. that you bring along with you. So you have to just let it go. Mm -hmm. As hard as it may be, sometimes you just have to let it go. Um, and I think Nelson Mandela, I heard a quote from him. Um, he, um, I think um, someone said that um, he was walking out of the prison or something that, that held him. Right. And they were like, um, are you gonna have hatred to them? And he was like, no. He was said because um, they were still had. So that's like, I think, a powerful lesson. Oh. Yeah. You know, legendary freedom fighter. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, may God be uh, with Nelson Mandela. And Paul Walker. Right. And speaking of Nelson Mandela and Paul Walker, these two totally wonderful people with two different people mm -hmm. in their own way. What would you like to say to young people about, you know, coping with coping with death and how to don't be sure that life is too short, you know, and make sure that you are prosperous. You only have one mother and you only have one parent. Uh, if you're a smart, if you're a smart ass, you know, you don't want to be, you want to be too. So, give some advice to people about that. Well, I think, um, well, pertaining to, to death, I think that's just acceptance, yeah. is what I, I would just say. Like, you may not like certain things, or you may not understand and you just sometimes you, just, you well all the time you have to just accept it you have to accept it and um as far as um what was the other question yes the other question is what would you like to say to young people about you know making sure that they're forgiving the people that they love and not being so judgmental of casting a smart ass, you know, remark to the parents because life is short. Well, um, respect is basically what I'm trying to I just think that you should just be the person, I mean, not be the person, but mm -hmm. um, you should um, just be the best person that you can be at okay. the end of the day. Like, right. everyone knows right from wrong, and mm -hmm. you just have to realize that what right. you so you will also reap. Right. So like you just have to like always have that, or in other words, karma. Yeah. Right. You just have to just have that mindset of, you know, like I'm going to to do the right thing even mm -hmm. when no one's looking. Basically. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. So what is one of your priceless moments in your career right now? Well, since you started up until this point, how long? And tell me again, how long have you been in the music industry? That is so long. Um, I started my, well, I released a single um, mm -hmm. called Let Me Love You in 2011. Okay. Um, we shot a music video for that, released it independently, and like it went really, really well, actually. Mm -hmm. um, um, and um, now, like, since then, I've kind of been like in the lab, like working, trying to figure out like what my sound is, what message do I want to send to people, like how do I want to portray that message. Mm -hmm. And um, like, I think we finally got it now, um, and we got work here. Um, uh, along with some other songs, uh, and we're just moving. Yeah, so is it going to be a full length album or are going to be YouTube? It's going to be a full length album. How many yeah. songs do you think? Um, there's so many good ones. Right? What is your, can there's you so give us like a ones. teaser or like a, a, a summary or premise of just one of the songs that people might like to can relate to? I'm sure you're related to God. So. Right, um, I have this song called I Can't Wait. Okay. And um, the lyrics are, I can't wait until he hurts you, then I won't hurt alone. Um, so it's like everyone has been in that relationship or uh, a type of situation where they're giving their all to someone and um, it wasn't reciprocated. And, um, you know, you, and it ends and you just can't wait to it happens to the other person because they'll know how you feel. So, like, it's, I think everyone that listens to this. Wonderful, wonderful. I uh, spoke to you about this off camera, but who is your uh, 
My favorite celebrity would probably be, in the music, would be Beyonce. Mm -hmm. And my other favorite celebrity is Adrian Wonder. <laughs> now, I'm looking for things in the headlines. As you know, there's been a lot of uh, teens doing violence on campus, uh -huh. as well as in theaters mm -hmm. and other places. What would you like to say to teens that are going to that extreme to get their point across without, you know, doing it in a exactly environment and actually? Yeah, and actually not committing harm to themselves or others. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth it at all. Um, it, this, just, if it comes to violence, you yeah. just shouldn't, yeah. like, you just should not just be around it, like, yes. at all, or even be a part of it. It's yeah. just, that's such a, um, such a, um, such a wrong way to do things, yeah. I feel, yeah. so. Just, it's just not working. That's what I would say to Well, thank you for chatting with myself in the Star Chat Management, and thank you for your time, Jason Jones. No, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Jones. Yes.